Today we're watching a training burn for all the fire departments in Moore County and actually a few were invited from other counties as well. The uh, structure got condemned in 2012 and as everybody knows uh, the 2012 fair we ran on a temporary setup and now we're uh, getting ready to uh, destroy the old structure and get ready for 2013 and hopefully have our new one in place for the fair. Grandstand is going to be used in the training exercise for the fire department and they are going to burn it instead of demoing the grandstand, I guess. And it's going to be built anew from the ashes. I'm Jamie Tim and I'm the curator at Moore County Historical Society. People tell me that they remember as a child going with their families to see the car races, the horses, um, the wagon races, and, and to see animals being shown. And that was something that they really enjoyed. The current grandstand was built in 1938 as part of a New Deal program called the Works Progress Administration. And the Works Progress Administration, or the WPA, was a program enacted by President Roosevelt um, during the Great Depression to try to stimulate the economy and provide jobs for workers. And in 1938, there was actually a program in Minnesota to um, support fairgrounds, to build grandstands, build barns and other outbuildings. And this particular grandstand fell under that project. They advertised the new grandstand as being kind of state-of-the-art, um, you know, really popular architecture. Um, the seats would have backrests and you would have an individual seat instead of just a bleacher. There was going to be office space in the bottom. You were going to be able to seat about 2,700 people in it. And it was just kind of brought about as this is a really, just really important new project for the, for the fair and that it was going to be really good for Austin. In 1961, a storm came through Austin and it hit the grandstand. The roof pretty much had to be replaced. Some more structural issues had to kind of be, had to be shorn up. So in 1961, about half of the building, the grandstand had to be reconstructed. It's very much just ready to collapse in on itself. And it, it's to the point where it, you really just need to start fresh for something like this. Um, we put so many people in there for the fair and other events, and I think the county and the fair board just want to be absolutely sure that they have a sound structure. Well, we're proposing a uh, new aluminum type structure with a cover on it. Um, it'll be similar uh, size, seating wise, um, but just new, safer. There's mixed emotions about uh, the old one going away. People are very concerned about the grandstand being burned. Um, it's the imagery I think is the most important thing. They, they are very upset that something that has probably been such an important part of the fair for so many years is just going to be burned to the ground. You hate to see the old go, but whenever the new is up and in place, everybody steps back and says, wow, that was, that was great, you know. 